Are you missing wide open, easy layups in games or even contested layups with defenders right by you? Coach Jesse Minchu with Get Handles. Today I'm going to show you some really quick fixes that you can put into your game that'll fix those issues so you can start making those layups in games. Okay, throughout this video I'm going to give you a lot of unique details and tips that you probably haven't heard before that'll really help you. But the very first one is bare bones basic. Either you're rushing too much or you're relaxing too much. So if you're relaxing too much, that just means basically you're just like, oh, it's just a layup and you just kind of throw it up there half-hearted and that's where you start missing because you're not taking it serious, right? You're just like, it's a layup, I can't miss this. So you don't put any effort in. Always go with full intensity. One thing I tell players is go at the basket like you're trying to dunk the ball. Even if you can't dunk the ball, go at it with that kind of intensity. Like when Kyrie or Russell Westbrook go to the rim, they're going hard with those two steps and they're trying to get as high and close to the rim as they can 90% of the time. But if you're one of the players that's rushing too much, what you want to do is slow down a little bit. You're probably coming at the rim too fast and trying to rush the shot and get it out of your hand as quick as you can because you're worried about getting blocked or beating the defender to the rim. On your two steps, slow down a little bit and then on that last step, really push off hard. What that'll allow you to do is even if your defender starts to stay with you here or tries to time you, if you really push off hard and quick on this last step, you can create separation right before that layup. Go to the rim still explosively without doing it in a way that's rushed. A second big issue is you're probably not locking in on the backboard. Number one, maybe if it's like an, a relaxed layup and there's no defender here, sometimes maybe again you're going at it half-hearted and you're not really looking at the hoop enough and focusing enough, but especially this is an issue with a lot of players. I've noticed it causes me problems if I'm not paying attention to it is when you start looking too much at your defender and worrying about the defender if they're here, if they're here, pretty much anywhere they are and you're like looking at them, how are you going to make the shot? You're not going to make the shot. I don't care how good you are at Layups, how easy you think layups are. If you're not looking at the rim, you're gonna have a lot harder time making that shot. Even if you have a defender here, what I would recommend you do is keep your eyes locked in on the backboard or wherever it is that you like to aim. I always try to go kind of for this top corner and try to hit that on my layup. I'm gonna use more of my peripheral vision now to react and make adjustments to him or protect the basketball if I need to in the air or going up for that shot. So basically what that means is if you're looking straight forward, you can see your hands out of the sides of your eyes while still looking forward. Same thing here, when you're looking at the rim, use your peripheral vision to see your defender out of the side of your eye, but keep your eyes locked in on the backboard. That is huge. You start looking at him and trying to aim with the peripheral vision at the hoop, that's not going to work out so hot for you. If you're having any issues or problems with your game, leave me a comment down below and I'll try to make a video for you to help you solve that problem. Okay, this next one is one I ask my players all the time when I train them, if I'm going through a drill or whatever, and they're always missing their layups. First thing I ask them is, how are you missing your layups? And a lot of times they're like, I don't know. But that's the first step right there. Start paying attention to how you're missing your layup. So if you're always missing long, guess what you should probably do? Shoot a little shorter, right? It's really easy if you start paying attention to that. But if you don't pay attention to how you're missing, you can't make that adjustment. If you're always missing left or right or short or long, it's an easy fix if you're always missing that way. And odds are you probably are. So you can make that adjustment, but you have to mentally make it a habit to pay attention to that. If you're finding these tips helpful, make sure you smash that like button for me. Let's try to get this video to 2,000 likes. This next tip I actually got from one of the comments I got on YouTube. The player said, I can pull off all these moves, but when I get to the rim, I'm tired or I don't have any more energy and I miss a shot because of that. Well, that's a pretty simple fix, but it's something I think a lot of players suffer from and they don't maybe realize. And it's basically, you just don't have the conditioning you need. And when you get to the rim, maybe you just don't have the energy to give full explosion to come to the rim and really, again, push off on that last step. One of the things I'm gonna recommend you do to get that done and get better at that is full court layups. Going down the court and back, go like 10 layups in a row, back and forth, all the way down full court. That'll get you in shape, get you in the habit of still exploding in that layup motion from all that running while you're a little bit more tired. One other thing you could do to add into that is just at half court and the three point line, maybe add a little move, you know, a little two dribble combo just to simulate more of that game type movement with some more explosive movements with some crossovers and then coming to the rim. And again, focusing on all the details that we've been talking about earlier in this video, making sure you're still putting those in place even when you're tired. But that on top of that will also help develop your conditioning. So in game situations, you won't have to worry at all about becoming tired by the time you get to the rim.
This next one's probably one that's affecting a lot of players that are having a hard time finishing over defenders or with defenders around them. And it's not having the ability to finish over taller defenders or dealing with contact. A couple techniques you can use. Number one, I would recommend you try to make contact on your two steps before you jump. Trying to make contact in the air is gonna knock you off balance right when you're going into your shot motion. It's gonna be a lot harder, number one. But number two, if you're making contact during those first two steps, now you can kind of create separation before the shot. And number two, you're initiating the contact so that puts you in control versus the defender. So that's one key tip. Another one is to work on shielding the basketball or using your body to protect the basketball, keeping the ball away from the defender, maybe putting your off arm up or just getting two hands on the basketball and gripping into the basketball strong while you're taking that contact. The other thing you might want to work on is more floater type shots or ones where you're spinning it to the side of the backboard to try to get the spin to pull the basketball in so you can finish in areas that are high where the defender can't reach it or more to the sides of the backboard where it's unpredictable for the defender. Make sure you click that subscribe button and get on that notification squad so you can catch the newest videos the second they come out. They're all going to help you get a lot better. Finally, this is a big issue for players that are having a hard time finishing around the rim with defenders in the paint or around them. It's that they don't have enough techniques and ways of finishing around the rim. If you need to work on that, click this link right here, pop in your email. I will send you instantly for free three secrets and tips that will help you expand what you can do finishing around the rim so you can deal with defenders a lot better. Click that link, pop in your email, and I'll send it to you instantly for free. Also, if you found this video helpful, make sure you check out this video and check out this one. You'll probably like those as well. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more and make moves today.